Well, hello guys, and I am Maurice Anderson here, giving you my review on one, two, three, four, five, six games. Two games, two and two in here. I'm gonna throw one of them away. So because you know, I, I I'll tell you about it later. Anyway, so Sean White, all right, Sean White stayed one for the week. Now I was really convinced when they said customize. Well, well, first this game is about like. You know, you're skateboarding and you're playing as neither five characters as you begin with, then you gain up to I think twenty one to thirty characters. And so you're on a quest to like revive the world from this dullness and this color like list stuff. And you know, basically, um you can change. Okay, so here it says change streets into half pipes, more buildings into ramps and extend the rest for endless grinds alone or with friends. The only game that gives you the power to shape, create and ride the ultimate skate park. And um, you know, obviously this is this is like this with um renowned um Sean White you know, collaboration. And so I was really convinced with the multiplayer because I'm like, you know what? So I gotta get a multiplayer because me and my sister like we love playing two player games as long as they're as long as it's not like ex as long as it's not like a RPG or anything. I don't, I don't even know if they have to play RPG or as long as it's not like you know something that's boring. Well, I was really convinced when you said customize worlds with friends in multiplayer because I got this for six dollars and fifty cents at um, on GameStop. So I was like, right, I actually you create your own world. Me and my sister play multiplayer, and you know I was so mad because they say customize world with friends, worlds with friends in multiplayer, but you don't really do that like. There's like mini games, and you can't really, you know. For example, this is the picture that they're showing here is a floodgate spillway, and basically that is um, it's like where you gotta do tricks and stuff. You can either do tricks or race. Tricks is the funnest compared to racing, which is kind of boring. Anyway, so I was really convinced. I was like, yeah, okay, so we we play co-op. We can we can create worlds with friends and multiplayer. Then so all they had they had four mini games. And then like each mini game I have like two things you need to be like tricking or like, you know, racing, something like that. And you know, I was really disappointed because I played the um PC version um, cause I had a um cause I have a pre trial form live on the PC. And so I was really convinced that you could create your own character and stuff, but it turns out you can't even create your own character, you can't create that character's name. It is like this game is fun. It'll be better with online multiplayer, which I think they should really add an update to this. Cause the only the only versions that have the um the only versions that have like an online version would be PS2. I mean not PS2, PS3, Xbox 360, and PC. And so like I was like, man, even though there's not gonna be online multiplayer, me and my sister can still play, and we can still create a world. I was like very disappointed because I'm like. Man, now I can't create my own character. I wasted six dollars fifty cents. You know. Um, so yeah, that's for this. Um, I had this for about I had this since like I think July. Oh yeah, I still got the, the original receipt, so I'm like, see, I know it was July or something. When I, I had bought that, I had bought um I think Super Monkey Ball Adventure for um the game I don't have it now. I I gave it to a friend, and he was like, man, he's a, I was like, man, I need to get rid of some Yankee games, and he's like, what game? And I was like, Super Monkey Ball Adventure, and he's like, oh, man, I'm a big fan of Super Monkey Ball, me and my dad, yeah, I'm like, ah, man, yeah, you can have it, because I don't not like, I do not like Super Monkey Ball at all. Um, yeah, July 13th, yeah, I bought this, about Chicken Little, the action. And I really regret trading in Metroid M for a dollar and ten cent and Planet Fifty One. Um, the reason why is because Metroid Other M. This was the first ever Council Metroid game that I played. Not only is it the first, because I played the um, handheld ones like on the Game Boy Advance and stuff. And this is the first Metroid game I ever beat. And I'm like, when I beat, it, I was like, yes, yes, yes. And then I found that you had extra stuff to do. And so. And so I reached to like a part in the spaceship where you gotta beat this giant boss, and you know it's very hard and stuff. I'm like, man, I'm gonna just quit this game. I'm gonna just sell it. You know, I made a horrible decision by selling it because um it was actually a pretty good game. I love the graphics and, and I love the different features and stuff. Chicken Little Ace of Action, you know, 
I got the original chicken and little game on GameCube. I'm gonna do a review on that next. But this game was kind of boring to me. Like, like it was like so weird. It had worse graphics than the first game on the GameCube. That's why I was like, man, they should, they should have just had it just come out on the GameCube and stuff. Okay, Tiny Fifty One. Basically, it's a movie game. Um, there's a lot of extras and there's like, they have really fun missions. But most of it is like we're walking around vehicles. Like you can get out on an adventure, but most of the missions, like, make you, like, do it in a vehicle and stuff. Like, make you, like, drive around town and stuff. It is weird. And the controls are very clunky for that game. So is it for Chicken Little. Very clunky. It's born of missions. Um, so, Chicken Little will be... Chicken Little Ace Asher for the week. I don't know. I'll give it a... I don't know. I'll give it a, like, 0 0.2. I don't really like all of that. Trying to skateboard, I'll give it 5.5 .5 due to its lack of online multiplayer, lack of creating characters, and its lack of creating, um, you know, worlds with friends. As I said, false advertisement, guys. I should really sue Sean White for doing this to the Wii ver to people that own a Wii version. And you know, people that own a Wii version sound like skateboarding. I know they really have to be very, they have to be very disappointed. Oh, I'm sorry, guys, I'm in my kitchen right now. But anyways, yeah, they really have to be very disappointed because, you know, now, Metroid Other M, it was a good game, but for those Metroid um, completionists, how do you say, perfectionists, that like you know want to be everything 100%. You know, this this is this is the Metroid game that you really want to get. Um, other than that, I love the controls on Shadow Skateboarding. Though some of the missions can be intense and stuff, and it can be hard to get some of those stickers. You have like all of the stickers in the game. Good luck, like good for you and all that other stuff. Alright, so moving on to my GameCube games now. Got rid of that. Alright, so I got Alright, so this is my other top key for Jimmy New Time. I'll tell you why I threw it away a few months ago. I mean, um, why I want to throw it away now. Um, I have another copy of it. That's not the reason why I want to throw it away. But, you know, yeah. I have chicken little wait. Do I have a case? No, I have a case in my video for that. Okay, so I got chicken little. I just got um Jimmy New trying to talk to the Sonic today, and you know I won't be scared if I beat it like the first day I get it, cause this game is actually it's actually pretty fun. This is the first ever Jimmy New trying game that I ever played. Um, I used to watch it at my babysitter's house, like watch watch her sons and cousins play, it, and you know I couldn't play. I don't know why. I thought I would break it. Like, really? Like, why would I break the PS2 when my little brother breaks everything? Okay, so I got Jimmy Neutron and Second Swanky, Chicken Little, Ice Age 2 The Meltdown, The Fairly Odd Parents Breaking the Rules, and The Fairly Odd Parents Shadow Showdown. Okay, so, um, if you watch my comparison video, I probably already rated it, but, you know, I gave it a rate. I gave it my, like, even personal rating. And, um, yeah, I'm not even about to go to these, um, but I love the graphics in this one. This is the childhood dream game that I always wanted, but I never got until last Thursday. I wanted this game ever since I was 7, and I'm 15 now, so that means I've been waiting 8 years to get this. Every single where I would go or search online, except for Amazon, they will, you know, be in generic cases. And, you know, I'm so glad that I finally got, like, you know, this, because, like, like I was afraid that I wasn't really gonna get the manual for this, and you know, oh crap, I got like a minute left. But um, yeah, but I got the manual and stuff, and you know, clues, other stuff, fairly odd jokes, and all this other stuff. You know, pretty cool game. I will do a review of the next. Yeah, I'm gonna do a review on the rest of my game games next. Um, okay, so this has been Maurice Anderson. I just made a Shine Like Skateboard on Metro Other and. Channel 51 and Chicken Little Ace in Action. Bye.